Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors. Sorry I'm going to have to speak real loud. They're doing construction outside our workshop here. This is on a 1969 C10 that we have. This truck's got a 468 in it now. Um, it's 454 block. It's been punched out. It has a turbo 400 automatic. It's got a 12 volt posi in it. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the underside of this truck. Uh, we just did a lot of work to this truck. There were some previous videos on it that uh, pretty much throw those out the window. And let's start over all brand new here. Uh, underneath the truck now we have, um, here's the 12 volt posi unit. It is a posi unit. I'll show you. We'll spin this tire. Both of them spin the same way. Proves it's a posi. Um, we, we pulled on them. The posi unit's really strong in it too. We tried it out. Now also on this truck it does have a two inch receiver hitch in the back. If somebody wanted to pull a boat or something this truck would definitely do it. Underneath the truck's really nice. The bed's really solid under here. We also have a bed liner in it now, so we'll show you that. Uh, it's brand new drive shaft, new carrier bearings, all new bushings in the carrier bearings. Both drive shafts are new. It's got a turbo 400, nice and dry under here. Uh, the frame is really good and solid. The pans on this truck are beautiful. Uh, we do have a little bit of rust right up in here, let you see that. But the rest of the pans on the truck are really, really good shape. The frame on this truck is super solid. I mean, all the way back, no rust holes, no dents. Truck's never been wrecked. The swing arms are really good. The bushing supports where they're riveted in, great shape, both sides. Uh, they both look awesome here. We get back to the back of the swing arms. The brackets that hold the rear end in are all in great shape. The springs are in great shape. All the way back here to the bumper supports where the uh, the, the receiver hitch is that. No worries back here on the frame. Super solid. All the supports back here are super solid. Inner of the inner fenders all metal, not stuffed with Bondo. Um, this side's all steel up here. Uh, there is a little bit of rust holes up there in the very top inner fender well, not outside inner. But um, this one over here looks really in good shape. Uh, so the truck underneath, very solid. Uh, we put Four brand new tires. You can see that these tires are brand new. I mean, still have all the lettering and the and the little nipples still on them. We put brakes all four corners of this truck. Not only do we put brakes, but we put drums on all four corners and a, a tool or uh, accessory kits. All the new springs, hardware kits. Excuse me. All the new hardware. Everything on the brakes is brand new. Uh, this is from this is up in the front, the front part of the frame, uh, the cross member. Truck's really nice truck, and we have done nothing under here. We haven't went and taken and uh, uh, painted this all up. This is a 1969 truck, and this is how still solid it is underneath here. Uh, looks like this inner fender well, they cut new metal in here. So that's all new metal on this side. Um, yeah, this side here is showing where, where the pinch welds have separated a little right along here. Uh, but other than that, what a nice truck. It's a 69, it's got a 468 in it. Real quick, why, why, let me go ahead and drop this truck down, take just a second here, show you the bed. Sorry about the bad video here. While, while we're right here, I'll show you along the edge of the truck how nice the underside of the truck is in the paint. Pretty nice, nice body on the truck. I mean, it is, it is a truck. It's not super, super laser straight, but as you look down the sides of it, it's uh, in really nice shape. All the corners here are metal. There's no Bondo stuffed up in these corners. A little bit of rust bubbles right here in this door. Uh, but what a cool truck. 468 with a turbo 400 and a 12 bolt. Um, kind of a sleeper, guys. Somebody wanting something a lot of fun, very fast. It's got new brakes on it now. It's got nice wheels. Sorry about looking at my lift uh, assembly here while we're lowering this. But this is our first video since we've taken and uh, got all this work done on this truck. The truck turned out real nice. Uh, here you can see along the bed. It's a really pretty. It's a metallic rust. Uh, back here in the back, there's one chip in the paint back here on the top of this bed. Has been bed lined now. We do have a bed liner in it. It's the sprayed in type bed liner, which turned out really, really nice. So uh, one more time, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors, 636-600-1140. I'll shoot another video of us driving it and some pictures of the engine and uh, it's a beautiful 468 the truck starts up and runs and drives great uh, you now seen the bottom of it 
let's get some more pictures of it and um, more videos and we'll get these posted to our website here real quick you might want to see the cab uh, I don't know if, don't think the keys are in it or start it up here's the cab seats all been recovered it's in great shape the dash is beautiful uh, all the gauges in here work the door panels are still really nice here's the underside of the door driver's door um, the pedals in here all the floor floor mat has the original style floor mats in it the uh, cab top of the cab is done like the original one would have been so one more time Daryl passing lane motors 636 600 1140 there's the bed liner give us a call what a killer truck for the money 1969 c10 new brakes new tires new engine uh, all new drive shaft and drive trains all been redone in it what a fun fast truck uh, have a great time in it and enjoy driving around thanks so much this is Daryl passing lane motors 636 600 1140 bye now